It's Ash from Super Videos back for another video for season 6 of Fear the Walking Dead, another teaser trailer breakdown and also a sneak peek breakdown for an upcoming episode, season 6 episode 14 called Mother. Stay tuned, we'll be right back to break all of this down. Alright, as always, if you're not a subscriber and enjoy the content by the end, consider subscribing to join our community, share and smash the like button and press the bell to be notified when we upload. With that out of the way, let's dive right into it. So first we're going to take a look at the teaser. Starts with this pretty interesting shot of Teddy. Now what's very interesting is this is a flashback before the fall of society. Teddy was put in prison by JD Sr., John Dory's father. We don't know necessarily how long he's been a prisoner at this point when we see this flashback, but this is definitely before the fall of society and after he was imprisoned and put in a penitentiary. The next shot we actually have is news on the TV that's talking about sick people no longer seeking medical care because of the virus, obviously referring to the zombie virus, not COVID. But there's also an opening minutes that was released, which this is from. So we'll dive a little deeper into that when we talk about the opening minutes. The next shot we have is actually this interesting shot of none other than Dakota, walking out of a bus. Now what looks like is happening here is that the end is the beginning group has relocated. It looks like they've just found a different place to stay at. The holding which they called their previous community was burnt down to the ground by Alicia. So they had to find a new place and I'm assuming that this is their new place. Now I don't necessarily know if there's going to be another bunker or underground tunnel in their new community or whether they're just temporarily staying above ground for now. What is interesting is Dakota is there. So what I think happened is she snuck in as one of the end is the beginning survivors in order to get to their new community. Now what's interesting is Alicia is actually there as well. So is Teddy. Alicia calls out Dakota's name and then we have Dakota pretty surprised to see Alicia here. I'm assuming that they probably don't know at this point whether Alicia is alive or not. She disappeared right after the holding was burned to the ground. So I'm assuming that this is the first time Dakota finds out that Alicia is actually alive. And then we have this awesome shot of Teddy also being surprised that Alicia knows Dakota. And then we have Dakota calling out Alicia's name and then she looks down as if she's ashamed, something along those lines. And then Teddy says, have you come to us alone? Obviously we know she has. And then we have this shot of Teddy and Dakota. Now what's interesting is that it looks like Teddy is reaching out for Dakota. He did a similar thing to Alicia as well. So I'm assuming what this is all about is Teddy is trying to get Dakota on board and he's trying to brainwash her and to make her a follower. As far as I'm concerned, Teddy can have Dakota. We don't want her. The next shot we have is Dakota talking to Alicia. Now, I'm assuming this is around the same time when Dakota and Alicia see each other, but Teddy is probably not around. Dakota says we can kill him, referring to Teddy. I'm assuming that's the reason why she snuck in with the other and is the beginning survivors so she could get at Teddy to try to redeem herself. And then we have Alicia responding with, there's no we here. And I absolutely 100% stand with Alicia on that. Dakota is not one of the survivors. And as far as I'm concerned, she never will be. We have Charlie, that's enough. Then we have this shot of a truck in the middle of what I'm assuming is a crash scene. We have this pretty awesome shot of Alicia, Dakota and Teddy inside the truck. And then we have this pretty interesting shot of what looks like a body falling out of the truck. Then we have Teddy actually calling out for her mother as soon as the body drops. So I'm assuming that the body is Teddy's mother. I could be wrong, but I'm thinking that's where they're going with it, which definitely would connect to the title of the episode, which is mother. I actually cracked up as soon as this came up because of the way Teddy said mother, but that's beside the point. The next shot we have is Teddy jumping out of the truck and approaching the body so we can see Dakota and Alicia in the background. Now it is interesting that Teddy's mother is there because Teddy is old himself. So 
his mother must be really old. It's gonna be interesting to see whether his mother was killed or whether his mother was a walker all along, something like that. Maybe right before Teddy escaped, after the fire at the holding, he took this walker with him who happens to be his mother, something along those lines. I could see them going that direction. And then we have this shot of Dakota killing a walker and then this shot of Teddy fighting a walker and then someone shoots the walker right before the walker is able to get to Teddy and then everyone looks at who this person is and it's none other than this guy right here. Now for those of you that don't know, this is actually Cole. Cole is one of the survivors of the stadium community that Alicia and the others were a part of right before the place burned down and right before Madison disappeared. And Cole, alongside other survivors like Vivian and Douglas, were amongst the people that, just like Madison, disappeared and were presumed dead. So what I'm assuming is going to happen is the fact that Cole is alive is going to make Alicia have this hope that Madison is alive as well. And maybe that's what pushes Alicia to go to the stadium to find her mother. Something along those lines. And then we have this shot of Alicia actually calling out Cole's name. So this is the reveal that that was in fact Cole. Now, one other thing I did want to mention, if we take a look at this shot, which was in the main teaser that they released, we had a lot of discussions about the person that we see on the left hand side and the possibility that it could be Madison because of the way that they're dressed. Now, obviously at this point, we can say with 100% certainty that that is in fact not Madison and it's actually Dakota because Dakota is dressed in the exact same outfit as well. So this theory is debunked. This is not Madison on the left hand side. It's probably Dakota. And that's pretty much the end of this teaser. Now we're gonna jump into the sneak peeks. The first sneak peek is actually the opening minute sneak peek. So we have Teddy writing something on a piece of paper. I'm assuming that this is part of his ideology and part of the speech that he recorded and plays over and over again for his followers. However, this is actually a flashback. This is Teddy when he was in the jail cell or when he was imprisoned. So it's before the fall of society. But just like we learned in the previous episode, JD Sr., who was the cop that put Teddy away, said that Teddy had the same ideology before the fall of society and he's following up with the same ideology even after the apocalypse. So what he was writing down is exactly his mentality and it's the exact same thing that he recorded like I said and he's playing over and over again for his new followers in the apocalypse. But in this particular sneak peek which is actually the opening minutes, Teddy is actually in his jail cell and then the news starts talking about the sickness that's going around, the virus and how it's being labeled a pandemic and how the hospitals are running out of room and all of that. I actually got a little bit of PTSD listening to that. Obviously what we just went through, hopefully we're over it now or we're going to get there soon. But I just had flashbacks of that and deja vu of what we just went through. So I had a little bit of PTSD watching this sneak peek. I'm not sure if that was intentional on their part or not. I think this was filmed before the pandemic, if I remember right, but it's just funny how things align. But Teddy goes to the TV, turns up the volume and listens to what the news reporter is talking about. And then on the wall, we actually have a lot of newspaper articles related to the Theodore Maddox case, which is obviously the case about Teddy, the mortician serial killer murder case. So we see a bunch of different news articles taped to the wall. I'm assuming that Teddy is keeping these as like trophies or something along those lines. Then Teddy hears like a bunch of screams, but he ignores it. And then we have these officers and detectives bringing this particular detainee. And then as the detainee is passing, Teddy tells him, remember the end is the beginning. So I'm assuming that the guy we just saw was one of his followers. And then he says, you're about to be given a new life. So pretty much the same mumbo jumbo that he keeps telling his followers, which has similar wording to what he's saying in the recordings that 
he plays for his followers over and over again. And then following that scene, we actually have Teddy hearing another scream. And then this time when he looks, there's an emergency alarm that has gone off. And then we see that the prisoners have turned into walkers. And then we have the other prisoners being attacked. Teddy's also attacked, but he manages to stab the walker in the head with one of the weapons that he had hidden away. So he's able to escape, obviously, but he actually watches someone get ripped open as he's escaping. So obviously this is the opening minutes and I'm assuming that this is gonna lead into the title card. And I'm assuming the title card is actually gonna have Teddy at the forefront because obviously each title card in season six specifically has a character at the forefront. For this particular episode, I'm assuming it's either gonna be Alicia or Teddy himself. They did release another sneak peek as well, which was a little bit shorter. In this sneak peek, we actually have Teddy talking over the speakers, the same exact speech that he gives his followers, which he plays over and over again. And it's actually Alicia who's there listening to this mumbo jumbo. I'm assuming that she's forced into listening to this over and over again. Riley walks in, asks her if she's ready to accept her new fate or something along those lines. And that's pretty much it. And then we have the next shot, which is Alicia still listening to the same stuff on the speakers, but it's morning now. So days and nights have gone. Alicia is still in that room and she's forced to listen to Teddy. I'm assuming that they're trying to brainwash her. So it's going to be interesting to see whether they're successful in doing so. But that's pretty much it. That's all of the sneak peeks that they released and also the teaser that they released. For this upcoming episode i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to share and smash the like button if you're not a subscriber subscribe to join our community and press the bell to be notified when we upload that's it for this video see you next time for another super video